The Truth About Tito Soto Vicente Tito Soto III, born August 24, 1948, is an actor, comedian, singer, songwriter, TV host, journalist, sportsman, and politician in the Philippines. Soto served as vice mayor of Quezon City, the Philippines' most populous city, from 1988 to 1992. He served two terms in the Senate, from 1992 to 2004. He was re-elected to the Senate in 2010 and is seeking another term in the 2016 elections. Soto is the brother of comedian and singer Marvic, Vic, Marcellino Antonio Jr., Maru, and comedian Valmar, Val, Soto and a grandson and grandnephew of former Senators Vicente Y. Soto and Philemon Soto. Early Life Vicente Costello Soto III was born on August 24, 1948. His parents were Marcellino Antonio Ayeda Soto and Dr. Herminia Costello Soto. Soto studied at Colegio de San Juan de Letran in Intramuros, Manila for his elementary, high school, and college education, earning a Bachelor of Arts degree majoring in English. Show Business Career Soto had a career as a songwriter, actor, and as a music artist as a member of the Manila Sound Group VST and company among his notable compositions is Mujkeza, which is recognized as one of the anthems of the 1986 People Power Revolution. Soto is a co-host of Eat Bulaga, the longest-running variety show in Philippine television history. Political Career, Quezon City, Soto was vice mayor of Quezon City from 1988 to 1992. He founded the Vice Mayor's League of the Philippines and served as its first president. During this period, Soto was also named vice chairman of Citizens Druguach. Senate, first term, Soto was elected to the Senate of the Philippines in the 1992 senatorial election, topping the tally with nearly 12 million votes, more than 3 million more than his second-place ranker. This made him the third member of his family to enter the Senate, after his grandfather Vicente Yap Soto and granduncle Philemon Soto. He served as assistant majority floor leader, was a member of the Commission on Appointments, and served as chairman on several Senate committees. In the 1998 senatorial election, Soto earned another term in the Senate with a third-place finish, the best result among senators vying for re-election. From April 30 to May 1, 2001, together with Juan Ponce and Real, Gregorio Hanazan, Panfilo Laxon and Miriam Defensor Santiago, he led the EDSA-3 protests in support of Joseph Estrada. On May 1, 2001, the protesters stormed Malacanang Palace. In spite of this, he ran for another term in the Senate in 2007 under the Team Unity Coalition backed by the Arroyo administration, but was unsuccessful, finishing in 19th place. Arroyo Cabinet Soto was appointed by President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo as a member of the Board of Directors and acting chairman of the Dangerous Drugs Board on July 4, 2008, succeeding Anselmo Avenido whose term was expiring that day. The appointment was just over one year after his failed 2007 senatorial bid. Philippine election laws forbid defeated candidates from being appointed to government post within a year of the election. Senate, second term. Soto won election to another term in the Philippine Senate in the 2010 senatorial election, as a member of the Nationalist People's Coalition. Upon the commencement of the 15th Congress on July 26, 2010, he was elected by the majority of his fellow senators as the majority leader of the Senate as well as the chairman of its Committee on Rules, thus he manages the legislative affairs of the Senate, particularly on the floor during the sessions. He was also one of the 20 senators that voted to convict Corona and to remove him from office on May 29 of the year. In 2012, Soto was accused of plagiarizing several passages in a speech opposing the reproductive health bill in the Philippine Senate. Several local and international news agencies and several Internet users reported that Soto had taken the passages from a 2011 blog entry by Sarah Pope, an American home economist blogger. Soto asserted that he was quoting Natasha Campbell McBride, who is referenced in the blog post. Pope, upon learning of the controversy, confirmed Soto's plagiarism on August 16, 2012 in another entry to her blog, strongly criticizing Soto for the plagiarism, for denying it, and for his stance on contraceptives. She also remarked that she did not intend to sue. Soto's chief of staff, in a comment on Pope's blog, 
admitted to using the blog post and failing to attribute Pope's work. Pope responded to the comment again criticizing Soto's stance on the reproductive health bill. On August 17, Soto reasserted his defense saying, I made a blanket disclosure. I mentioned beforehand my attributions, that I had many sources, of information in my speech, so I have admitted that. I have made a disclosure, so what's their problem with that? They probably thought I'm trying to pass myself off as knowledgeable, on the subject, when in fact I'm not, supposedly, where is the plagiarism there? They think that's plagiarism. So come on, sue me. Villa Corda said he saw nothing wrong with using Pope's blog without attribution because it is public domain and blogs are not covered by copyright. It is a new media and there is no jurisprudence yet. In an interview on the Philippine newscast 24 Oras, Soto remarked, Whatever it is, the buck stops with me, I'm the senator. Whatever I delivered in the Senate Hall is what's important. Whatever they say, we'll take it in stride. Soto also reiterated that his privileged speech under the protection of the Article 6 Section 11 of the Philippine Constitution, which states that no member of Congress shall be questioned nor be held liable in any other place for any speech or debate in the Congress or in any committee thereof. In an interview on the Philippine newscast The World Tonight, Pope remarked, He is acting as though he's above the law, that he is above copyright law, that he can do whatever he wants, he can step on whoever he wants, to get his agenda through the Philippine legislature. That's just wrong, that's very poor behavior. I hope the Filipino people take note of this behavior and subsequent denial on his bad behavior on the part of Senator Soto. Think about this when they go to the election booths when he's up for re-election. A South China Morning Post journalist, Raisa Robles, also pointed out that Soto plagiarized five bloggers and a briefing paper, which includes a blog titled The Truth of Contraceptives, a blog titled Feminists for Choice, a blog titled Talking Sense by Marlon Ramirez a New York University blog publishing works by birth control activist Margaret Sanger, and a briefing paper published by the Catholic Family and Human Rights Institute. Robles also remarked that Soto would be championing digital piracy, she remarked, Attorney B. La Corda said that the Internet is free. Sick, this would mean that Senator Soto would be championing digital piracy. On November 9, 2012, Carrie Kennedy, the daughter of late American Senator Robert F. Kennedy and president of the Robert F. Kennedy Center for Justice and Human Rights wrote a public letter to Senator Soto accusing him of flagrantly and deceptively plagiarizing the Robert F. Kennedy's 1966 Day of Affirmation speech in his remarks to the Philippine Senate last September 5, 2012. Soto has since issued an apology but still refuses to admit he committed plagiarism in his speech. Soto is one of the two senators who have inserted provision on libel under the Cybercrime Prevention Act of 2012 or anti-cybercrime law. In 2013, Soto filed a bill that would mandate all government and non-government employees to receive a 14th month of annual salary. 40. Responding to the Department of Labor and Employment claims that the bill would worsen unemployment if implemented. Soto said that the existing 13th month pay is not truly a bonus because there are actually 13 months in a year. There are 52 weeks in a year divided by 4 weeks in a month. 13 months. On the commencement of the session of the 16th Congress, on July 22, 2013, Soto became part of the new Senate Minority Group. He was chosen by his colleagues in the minority to be Deputy Floor Leader second in command to Enriel who became the minority leader. Ontario, 2014, following Enriel's arrest over the pork barrel scam, Soto became the acting minority floor leader. In June 2015, he resigned as the majority leader following the resignation of Enriel, his staunch political mentor as Senate President due to the squabble because of the management of the funds of the Senate. He will seek a re-election in the upcoming 2016 national elections under NPC and won, finishing in third place for the 12 contested Senate seats. Personal Life Soto is married to Helen Gomboa, a beauty queen, actress, and singer. They have four children, Romina, Diarella, Giancarlo and Sierra, eight grandsons, Romino Vicente, Victorio, Vicente IV, Carlos Edrigu, Alessandro Jose, Marciano, Juan Rosano and Vincenzo Jose, 
and two granddaughters, Helena and Maria Giuliana. He is an avid bowler and was a member of the Philippine national bowling team, representing the country several times at the AMF World Cup presently. He is the chairman of the Philippine Bowling Federation, PBF. He also plays golf and has won several tournaments. He is Catholic Philippines. Soto served as vice mayor of Quezon City, the Philippines' most populous city, from 1988 to 1992. He served two terms in the Senate, from 1992 to 2004. He was re-elected to the Senate in 2010 and is seeking another term in the 2016 elections. Soto had a career as a songwriter, actor, and as a music artist as a member of the Manila Sound Group VST and Company among his notable compositions is Mujkeza, which is recognized as one of the anthems of the 1986 People Power Revolution. Soto is a co-host of Eid Bulaga, the longest running from 48. His parents were Marcellino Antonio Oyeda Soto and Dr. Herminia Costello Soto. Soto studied at Colegio de San Juan de Letran in Intramuros, Manila for his elementary, high school, and college education, earning a Bachelor of Arts degree majoring in English. Show business career Soto is the brother of comedian and singer Marvic, Vic, Marcellino Antonio Jr., Maru, and comedian Valmer, Val, Soto and a grandson and grandnephew of former Senators Vicente Y. Soto and Philemon Soto. Early Life Vicente Costello Soto III was born on August 24, 19... The Truth About Tito Soto Vicente Tito Soto III, born August 24, 1948, is an actor, comedian, singer, songwriter, TV host, journalist, sportsman, and politician in the 